welcome welcome to my channel of celebrate your moment with joy this is pastor florence i want to take this opportunity to thank you very much for the time you take to listen to watch to practice what you learn to share with other people and even to pray for me maybe you are saying pastor florence i don't even pray for you it's okay we can always start you can always start it is never too late right I also want to take this opportunity for who you are, and I'm just here to remind you. The Bible has so much records about reminder. In actual fact, the book of Deuteronomy is just about reminder. In my mother tongue, it's so much the way it's, it's said, I like it. It's like you are repeating and repeating. And so I want to believe that as you continue to listen to what I teach, that you're not going to say like this repetition that is monotonous. No. Nothing that was created by God is monotonous, even if you repeat it hard at times. The good thing with our God, he gives us inspiration and he gives us mind to broaden the, the way we share. So I also want to take this opportunity to thank God very, very much that he has chosen me a time like now so that I can encourage you, so that I can inspire you, so that I can motivate you, so that I can mentor you fachiri so that i can correct you and i can rebuke you you know most of the time we don't want to be rebuked but you know what all this is like it's like a buffet a spiritual buffet it's all in one you have to be rebuked you have to be corrected for you to be that uh, person who god has created you to be and in actual fact uh, apostle paul who was a mentor to timothy he encouraged him to know that the word of God is there to equip, to rebuke, to correct, so that the man of God may be furnished in all good works. So, uh, just a reminder again, my weekly schedule are Monday through Wednesday, I bring you inspirational work, like today. Thursdays, I bring you celebrating in the kitchen with Pastor Florence because we need to balance our life. The, you know, I think there was a time recently I was sharing about, I, I just demonstrated about washing dishes and I know somebody might have been wondering, what is she teaching us? Let me tell you, everything that God has given you, he wants you to manage it well. The inner resource, you may think, this is my money, I have worked for it. I want to remind you, you have nothing of your own because even the work that you do, it is God who gives you the power to work and to gain wealth. Actual fact, that even the Bible says that. And I like a singer who sang and said, Nidire ke dogia, kwa onake mueve noe, nego corona keria, denake mokoine, newa moda niwa, kwa ojete keretia, nikena de geti, gede kaeo de. Whatever you have, whatever achievement you have gotten, however good family you have, or good looking you are, it is, you are not your own. You have nothing of your own without the Lord. Another singer sang and said, That is to say, if God removes his power, within a second you are not there anymore. May the Lord God help you. That's why I feel humbled even as I share this word and I hope you'll keep up with me in the name of Jesus. Then Fridays I bring you putting on the right gear for the weekend because you and I have been called not to be stagnated but to make a move because God is a God of action. Day and night he provides to us the entire world. So who can you emulate that you just stagnated there? So today is one of those days I'm here to inspire you and I want to remind you you are chosen and you are peculiar. This message uh, God has been putting in me, maybe it's an expansion of the series we are covering in our church, Grace Fellowship, The Chosen. And I always say that when you go to church, when the pastor is studying there, he's like a switchboard, you know, so the Holy Spirit will work and then we'll be distributing the message in different ways. Maybe somebody who has been going to church and listening to this series and even going to the live group, a small group, may get a different message from this. And this is how I have gotten it. And so I'm extending what we are, how I'm being blessed in my home church. And so that's why I would encourage you to have a home church. Amen. I'll be covering, I'll be sharing from the book of First uh, Peter chapter 2, verse 9. Let us start with the word of prayer. Be ready. I took time to elaborate this, but I think it was important. Be expectant. Be attentive. 
May the Lord open your inner ears and understanding so that you capture something. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you. As I share your word, dear Father, use me as a vessel. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing to thee. I pray that I may decrease as you increase. I lift you high up, dear Father, because you have said, if you are lifted up, you shall draw men unto yourself. Do only what you can do. My Father and my Savior, I'm not ignorant of the devices of the enemy. That he comes to attack. But that's why, dear Lord, because there is a power in the blood of Jesus. I dip myself light in the blood of Jesus from the hairs of my head to the toes of my feet. That I may minister under that anointing that breaks every yoke. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. You are chosen and you are peculiar. Before I read that uh, scripture, I have two cups here. This one say, find joy in everyday blessings. Okay? So you can sing, count your blessing, name them one by one. I have another one here written, you are mine. Okay? And that is from Isaiah 43, verse 1. Some of these things we do. Many people know that I like pictures and I like recording things. It's not for fun. They, there is a reason why. I do that because recorded things helps a lot. It would be very much uh, surprising if somebody would take this cup and start drinking and forget that he or she needs to find joy in every blessings. It would be very odd for someone to take a cup like this one and forget that, that the Lord has said, you are mine. It doesn't matter what might be going on. That is all what celebrate your moment to enjoy is. Celebrating because God is in charge. So, okay, back to, <laughs> to the scripture. I'm going to read from different versions, and I'm going to start with the one I use. Um, my regular Bible version I use is New King James Version. This is what it says. Uh, again, this is First Peter 2, verse 9. But you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, his own special people, that you may proclaim the praise the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Okay? Now, let me read this um, NIV, new, uh, yeah, NIV fashion, it says, But you are chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's special possession. You are special. Okay? That you may declare the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful right. Okay. English standard version. But you are chosen less. A royal priesthood. A holy nation. A people for his own possession. Yeah. That you may proclaim the excellencies of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous right. New living translation. But you are not like that. What you've been called or, uh, you know, labeled like, which is negative. I keep on going down. Sorry about that. And uh, you, are you are not like that. For you are chosen people. You are royal priests, a holy nation, God's very own possession. Hallelujah. As a result of you being chosen, being God's very own, you can, as a result, you can show others the goodness of God. For he called you out of the darkness into his wonderful light. That's why I bring these messages. Because God chose me. And I know God chose me. I'm bringing you this word to enlighten you, to get, out, to get you out of the darkness of ignorance. TPT. I've never read this fashion. <laughs> but listen to this. But you are God's chosen treasure. Hallelujah. Treasure. You are of value. But let me repeat again. <laughs> but you are God's chosen treasure. Priest who are. Yes. My goodness. But you are God's chosen treasure. Priest who you are. Priest who you are. Hallelujah. You priest who you are, kings. A spiritual nation set apart. You've been set apart. Hallelujah. Set apart as God's devoted ones. 
He called you out of darkness to experience his marvelous light. And now he claims you as his very own. He did this so that you would broadcast <laughs> his glorious wonders throughout the world. Glory to God. Celebrate your moment with joy is about reminding you who you are. Because every moment counts, every moment matters. Because you are chosen, my brother, my sister, know that you are peculiar. You might have been labeled. That's why I decided, decided to read it in different fashions. Because my brother and my sister, most of the time, we are labeled and we take that to be ours. It is my prayer that after you listen this message, though I took a lot of time to explain and to read at meticulously, that you could get word by word. It is my prayer that you will be able to know who you are. I'm just reminding you. There, I'm reminding you and I hope you are not going to take it like it is so monotonous. When I remind you that you belong to God. When I remind you that you are peculiar. When I remind you that you've been set apart. When I remind you that you are God's own possession. Hey! <laughs> God's property. Yeah, you belong to God. That's why I came to realize after going through stuff, I sang this song at the It is my prayer that you are not going to cry again because you know you are chosen. If you had forgotten, I am here to remind you that you are God's chosen one. That you've been set apart. at that song you can find it in youtube just type decorator again by pastor florence minor and i know god will bless you i hope i'll be able to put that uh, ring and I know God will bless you. Why am I saying this? Because so many people have even died before their death. They are walking like walking dead, you know? Because if they feel, oh, near the again, I am just useless. They say, they said, come on, what has God said? He has said he, you are his own possession, peculiar, hey. And you're not just chosen. He got you out of the darkness of ignorance. He got you out of darkness of not knowing who you are for a reason to declare of his goodness, of his marvelous deed, experiences to the world. That's why I am here. I am not tired. Digenoga. Yes. I am here. When I am giving you this word, I'm not doing you a favor. I'm doing myself a favor because I am obeying the, the one who has called me. Because I have known very well what this, what this God has done for me. And that's why I can say, He has done so much for me. And I cannot tell it all. I cannot tell it all. I cannot tell it all. He has done so much for me, and I cannot tell it all. He has done so much for me. I'm a fan of my angel, Nancy Wazy Kueleza. Siwezi kueleza yote, siwezi kueleza. Ame fanya maajabu, na siwezi kueleza. Ame fanya maajabu, ni eketa mageganya, die hota gota reria mode, die hota gota reria. Yes, he has done so much for me, I cannot tell it all. He has given me life. I'm here to remind you. He has done so much for you. He has given you ears that you can hear this message. He has given you the understanding. He has given you hands that you can walk. He has given you legs so that you can walk. He has given you ears so that you can hear his word. Because you are chosen. I'm going to read that version again, the TPT, and I'll be done, done shortly here. But you are God's chosen treasure. You are very, very precious, my brother, my sister. 
Get out the garbage of the words that you have heard. The names that have been called you. And know that you are God's treasure. You are not anybody's treasure. You are God's treasure. You are creator. Who created you. Priest. Who are kings? You are not just a nobody. Oh my goodness. What am I going to say? You are king. A spiritual nation. You have been set apart as God's devoted words. You have been set apart as God's devoted so that you can declare of his goodness. He called you out of darkness to experience his mother's right. You are in the darkness. And now he claims you as his very own. God has claimed you to be his own. When somebody say you are mine, other than what God has said, know that the ultimate person who owns you is God. He did this so that you would broadcast his glorious word. When I saw the word broadcast, I was so excited. Even now, I am excited to broadcast his glorious wonders throughout the world. Hallelujah. My brother, my sister, God has chosen you. I thank God for our church. You know, I have been so much equipped in our church. We go through service for a period of time. We have gone one day, God is rooted. We have, called, we have gone different words. Hallelujah. May the Lord God help you. I know you from this time you're not gonna just be staying there just looking yourself down you know there are some people because they want to draw attention and pastor eden preached that in our last zoom meeting in september about attention seekers you ask somebody how are you oh you know they know they are not bad they say, oh i've not been feeling well and i said i have one of our family members <laughs> what i'm looking at one once once somebody goes and they have not been together, we say, oh, oh, drink whatever. <laughs> come out of that. <laughs> my brother, my sister, if you come and ask me, how are you? How are you? Me, I say, I am fine. I am blessed. I'm well favored by the Lord in Jesus' name. <sighs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> my brother, my sister. It is my prayer that when you know you are chosen, you are not just going to wait somebody to define you. You are just going to do your commission. You are just going to do the work that God has called you to do. That's why me here is Pastor Florence. I don't want to waste time. You are, you are waste, waste timer. Even if you are a person who wastes time just talking about people, please get away from me. Stay, stay away from me. There are some time you can think that I'm ignoring you. I know. Maybe you have talked to me. You know this. You start telling me some things and I die fat the story and I bring another one you can think like I'm being sarcastic or I'm ignoring you because I know who I am and sometimes I'll feel discouraged when somebody bring discouraging reports I'll just think into my soul to remind the foreigners that you know sometimes you have to speak to yourself loud and I start singing <speaking in Spanish> Because you are chosen, because you are God's very own, because you are God's treasure, you've been called out of darkness so that you can declare of his mother's deeds to the entire world to broadcast. I'll continue doing that. Father, I thank you. I adore you. May my fear and my listener grasp a message to take him or her to another level of self appreciation and knowing how important he or she is in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. It has to start with you realizing who you are by accepting the Lord. You are there, you know you have never given your life to the Lord. Do you want to say this prayer after me by faith? Say, Lord Jesus, I come to you. I repent of my sins. I want to walk in the newness of life because I, I have been reminded that I'm chosen, I'm peculiar, and I've been taken out of darkness. Help me, oh God, lighten my name in the book of life and give me a desire to grow spiritually in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. You know salvation is not complicated. God's things are not complicated, but we tend to make them complicated. If you have prayed that prayer by faith, you've been transformed, the old is gone and the new has come. Now start walking in the newness of life. But two things are important. He has done so much for you. You have to tell it. Stand up and tell if you love my Jesus. Testimony. Get yourself to a rock or church. Like I am a member of Grace Fellowship. I'm an ordained pastor, but I'm not a pastor there. I serve in the dream team. I serve in the prayer ministry. 
And if you want to find me when you come there, I'm in door number three. If I'm not there, I'm telling you I might be at work. Hey, so may the Lord God bless you. I love you. God loves you the most. If you want to visit our church, it's on Highway 169. If you are coming from the north, it's on the left side after 109. Uh, avenue if you are coming from the south it is on uh, the right side after the highway 610 may the lord god bless you i love you god loves you the most remember to follow my schedule monday through wednesday inspirational word thursday celebrating in the kitchen fridays putting on the right gear for the weekend saturday sunday i take a break so that you can prepare yourself and be ready to go to church on sunday remember to subscribe to my channel if you have not done so if you have done so Pray for me and share with other people. Yes, 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 yes. Continue praying for me in Jesus' name. Do carry that again because God loves you. Thank you. Remember to celebrate every moment. Not just celebrating, but celebrating it with joy. Why? Every moment counts. Every moment matters. Thank you.